<laughs> Paano ko ba sasagutin to? Last week lang. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm Heaven Peralejo and you're watching a brand new episode of Cosmo Confessions. It's time to get to know me better. Let's start! How would my friends describe me? Crazy. <laughs> Crazy in a way na I'm just, I think, spontaneous as a person. And so, like, minsan sabihin ko, Tara, nabas tayo. Tara, punta tayo tagay tayo. So, I have this all these crazy ideas that I wanted to do. And they were going to And crazy in love also. My last meal would be popcorn. Is that even a meal? It's like, I can eat popcorn all day and all night. If only I didn't bloat, my God, I would definitely eat it as my diet. What is your favorite popcorn? Ooh, sour cream and barbecue. So, kung gusto niya akong maging mabait at mahalin kayo, bigyan niyo lang popcorn. <laughs> My best concert experience. I guess yung pinaka hindi ko makakalimutan was yung kay Ariana Grande. So back in 2018, 2019, I guess. That was I guess my first concert also. And dun ko nakita how great she is and I wanted to be like her. When I perform Parang medyo Ariana. <laughs> Love is mine, all mine. I like it because you know how like everything in the world is not free except your love, except your love. And so yeah, parang it's something na magbigay ka lang ng pagmamahal, just unconditional love to everyone. Just open yourselves up. Um, that's my number one. My number two would be Miss Independent by Neo. Cause she's Miss Independent. <laughs> number three, hmm, Turning Page. I like it cause parang nandito ako sa face ng buhay ko ngayon, where it's like I can feel how my life is turning a page into this beautiful chapter, this next chapter of my life. And I'm seeing it and I'm experiencing it. I'm happy and nervous and like sad at the same time. I'm happy and nervous because what's coming next? And sad at the same time because of course I have to let go of my old chapters in my life and I have to accept it and I have to move on so I can fully be happy on my next chapters. A car? I guess a car. One necessity. Yeah, car. Like, hindi ko, hindi ako ma materialistic na tao. I think one thing to know about me is I like connections. I like connecting with people. I like knowing their emotions or like how they feel today. Just because, you know, we're, we're humans and we feel down and might as well help, help someone. You know, it might make a big difference, it might make a small difference, but at least you made their day. Bali. I traveled alone for seven days. It was my first time traveling alone. It feels so like something at peace. Something na never ko inimagine na kaya kong gawin. Na maging mag-isa. Na I would enjoy my own company. Like never kong inisip yon. Because I always parang had this fear of being alone and doing nothing. Pero yun pala yung pinaka best experience. And I, you know, I hope that everyone tries it once in their life because it's such a, a freeing experience. Something that you would definitely remember even when you get old. So, yeah, Bali. Why is it useful? <laughs> Joke! Lang. Oh my God! What are my skills ko in life? Cooking? One, it's useless because I'm not so good at cooking. I'm afraid to luto para sa iba. I can cook for myself but not for people. Especially mga people na gusto kong paglutuan, hindi ko kaya. Hanggang thought lang yan. And that will remain. <laughs> hmm. With me as a fan? Oh, I think with Ate Sara Jeronimo. So there was an event once. Hindi ko lang makilala niya ako. So parang, did I, did I hear it right? Nakilala mo ako? So parang, ah! Because Sarah is one of my idols, okay? So that was like, I was on cloud nine. One with my fan, 
Huh. There, there's so many. So, so many. Siguro yung tipong, in general na lang, parang they would go, like, kahit super far para lang makita nila ako. And they would wait even if it's raining. Or like, yeah, I can feel their love, you know. So. Theo James. Ooh, he's hot. <laughs> I think he's four, no? He's four and divergent. Super hot. Pero ngayon, parang, parang mas gusto ko ng Pinoy. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> Yoko na magsalita. Baka naman. Baka ma-jinx ninyo. Okay na yun. <laughs> Paano ko ba sasagutin to? Last week lang. <laughs> um, hindi. I mean, oh, well, I think when I was 19. Yeah. Yun yung first time na nag I love you ako with somebody else. 19. My first heartbreak was like, alam mo yung parang gusto mo pang mag-hold on. Pero parang, you know, hindi pa panahon. And so, hahayaan mo na lang. Let time heal everything. So, yun. Masakit. Pero ano eh, mabilis ako maka-move on eh. Mga, bigyan mo ako ng four months. <laughs> may, may, ano, timeline. After four months, you know, I'm good to go. <laughs> My love language would be physical touch. So, sobrang, I love making people feel that they are loved through touch. I don't know. And I also am a giver in, a, in the relationship. Kala lang nila ako yung binibigyan, hindi ako actually yung namimigay. <laughs> so, but I like it. Gusto ko nakikita yung taong mahal ko na masaya. So, in any way or any form, I would give everything. Ganun na ako magmahal. Saan ba mahalin kita? Joke <laughs> Next. Sabihin ko sana when he pays for the bill, but it's bare minimum. <laughs> It's not a turn on. Siguro pag close sa fam family ko. Pag close sa family ko and pag nakakaintindi sa tradition ng family ko. Kasi hindi lahat kaya makasabay sa family ko. One, kasi sobrang kulit. So, and two, sobrang Filipino tradition. As in, akit ng ligaw. Bago makit ng, bago mag-date, kailangan na ka ng ligaw. If you do not understand that, then you know what? Bye. Siguro pag ano, pag hindi okay sa parents. Kunyari, hindi siya okay sa parents niya. And kunyari, hindi na sila nag-uusap ng matagal. Ibig sabihin, he could do that to me. Kung sa parent nga, hindi niya kaya. What more to me na hindi naman blood-related? I don't know. Ayun yung tinuro sa akin ni mom. My advice would be... Actually, dapat advice ko yun to myself. I wanna love unconditionally. And I want to learn that. And I hope you guys will learn that. Because loving unconditionally, parang it's a hard thing to do. And But it's the most purest form of love, is to love unconditionally. Oh, so I'm, I'm filming um, Sunny. It's a Korean adaptation. And then, itong si Marco, um, kunyari may scene na parang papasok siya ng bahay, ganyan. And first time ko siya makikita. So like my slow mo, alam mo like ah wow ganyan. But then pagpasok niya, meron siyang parang marker on his face. As in parang may mustache, tapos yung teeth niya all black kasi minarkan niya lahat 'yon. Tapos wala siyang shot. So ako lang yung nakikita. Tapos parang I had to like keep my face straight and like in love and I was like my God. And I was so mad at Marco after that. I was like, you. Sabi niya, hindi, para alam mo, magaling ka, kung magaling ka mong artista, kung kaya mo yan. So, parang, napakasama mo. Ganyan. So, anyways, yun. My most embarrassing, oh. So, I went on this date. First time. First time ko makipag-date um, with this guy. And then, I was wearing um, heels. My favorite heels. Tapos, pagkatapos ng pagkain, uwi na, ganyan. Pupunta na ng car. Biglang nasira yung heels ko. Tapos, ang layo pa ng parking. Kasi sa poblasyon yun. So, para ako, tapos parang nakatingin lang ako sa kanya. But the good thing though, like he carried me. I don't know if I should be embarrassed, but it's actually a good thing though. Breaking Bad. Yeah, Breaking Bad. Kasi it's addicting. 
to nakalimutan ko na siya kahit kakapanood ko pa lang din. Pero hindi ako ma hindi ako mahilig magulit eh. Ano, I always seek for new experiences or new things in life. I think that's being me as a Saji. <laughs> I'm a Saji. My favorite quotes. Every time I think in kasabuan, lagi mo na ako maalala like it's a curse, something like that. And so every time I see the moon, I always remember Luna, my character in the Rain in Spanya, and I remember how how it made me so happy being Luna. And so I had moon, Luna. That I'm pregnant. Hindi pa pwedeng popcorn lang yan. Oh my God! Oh, I think when sabi nila, oh my God, is she pregnant or something? Pero yeah, I just love eating. That's why I like working out. Para nababalan siya. I'm an introvert. I actually am an introvert. I love having alone time. It's so like tiring for me to like conversations with other people one because I'm shy two because it's just it tires me out pero like I'm, I'm learning now na for certain people lang pala so pag may mga taong nakaka-drain pala ng energy yun 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 yung ayoko and I, now I know the people na parang okay you know what I'm gonna protect my own energy para I can talk to everybody else and, you know, like, not to be introvert. I think, to sabihin nila, oh my God, may, may kinarate ba yan? As in, ganon. Because when I, when I drink, parang gusto ko lang, kasi nagmamuaytay ako, guys. So when I drink, parang lagi ako naghahanap ng away. Sino gusto mong kapayin ko dito? Ako na bahala. Pero like, ano lang, like, it never happens, okay? Pero like, sasabihin ko lang daw na, Nay, kasi nang kumaitay ako, kaya ko to. Gusto ko lang actually talagang matry on a real life situation kung kaya ko bang protektahan yung sarili ko. I think yun. Yun lang naman. Pero it would never happen, guys. Please. <laughs> Whew, and that's it for today guys who would you like to see in the next episode of cosmo confessions let us know in the comments so please follow me on all my socials and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to cosmo's youtube channel bye